These days, geotagging is all the rage. But what happens if you have a camera that doesn't have geotagging built into it? Well, you can use the iFi cards. They are a slightly more expensive SD card that allows you to uh, put it inside of your regular camera and geotag as you take photos. And while they are hit and miss on certain model cameras, um, there are ways around this and you can use existing hardware that you already use like your iPhone um, or even an Android phone to geotag your own photos from your digital SLR or any other camera that you might own that doesn't have it uh, built into, that doesn't have the geotagging feature built in. So how do we do that? Well, let's find out. So the idea here is to take the timestamp between when you take a photo on your camera and your iPhone and merge these together and this is how we're going to geotag the photos on our camera. Here's how we do it. First we're going to open up our phone. Let's first get it unlocked and we're going to use the app called Geocorder right here. So we're going to hit that one. All right. And basically you can see that it records the latitude and the longitude where you're at. You can change the update intervals here so that you can get a very accurate reading as you're walking around somewhere, say you're at the Grand Canyon or you're here downtown taking some city photos, you can say every one, two, four minutes is how often you want it to know where you're at so that when you take that photo you can get a very precise location. When we get back uh, to the house and we get on our computers, we're going to merge this data together and this is how we're going to geotag the photos. Alright, so we're downtown, we have our GPS app running, so let's see if we can't geotag some photos. Come on. Don't write me a ticket. Done. We're done. Okay, you're back. Uh, you just finished doing your geotagging on your phone and now what you're going to do is, is you're going to use the email feature in the app to send the GPS data log uh, to your email account. Okay, contrary to my normal desktop, this is a pretty busy one, but here's what we're looking at right here in the top. Uh, we have the GPX file that we got off of our iPhone and then we have the uh, uh, file that I've imported for this video off of the camera. Uh, these are your photos right here and um, here's what you need to do. You got to come down here and you need an app called GPS Photo Linker. It's free. Uh, all you got to do is just go on the website, download it, uh, track files and uh, load the track. Click the plus sign or just drag it into, the, uh, into this area and then the uh, track will be placed here. Uh, click on load photos load your photos. You can do all of them at one time. Since I've already done them, I'm not going to do them again, but uh, they will show up here on the side after you've uh, saved them and it will associate the uh, GPX information with the, uh, the timestamps on your photos and uh, give you all of your inform the details that you're looking for. Then in either iPhoto or in Aperture, depending on which application you use, you can come in here and you can see the photos that we used in the video um, and uh, you have your GPS data associated with them um, loaded here on the map. So we have Washington Park and it tells you how many photos that you have loaded in at those locations and then you can go in and view those photos. So there's some more from Washington Park and then apparently it thinks all of this is Washington Park. 
Um, so maybe not the most perfect. You can edit that and get rid of that um, uh, misassociation, but we started in the park. So, but anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and this shows you how to, uh, you know, associate uh, GPS data with your, cam uh, with your camera, even whenever you don't have uh, all of that data available to you or, or that functionality.